Hey folks, welcome back to Gaming Garbage, where we take a look at games, chat about the gaming news in the industry, and of course, stream for fun. Today we're taking a look at the Prince of Persia, the Lost Crown demo. So again, this is just a demo. They did say that they uh, modified some things to actually create the demo. There's not going to be any spoilers in the story. And two, we're not starting from the very beginning, and we're not taking a look at the settings, because I messed up. I didn't have uh, myself in a uh, party chat, and so... Twitch still has that issue where it's constantly messing up with the audio and all sorts of stuff. And so, yeah, we're just going to start from this point. We haven't actually had any gameplay yet. Um, and uh, we'll just take it from here. So we do actually have some cutscenes, which I'm excited. How is that possible? They left not long before us. The mirror dimension. One thing I did say too is like a lot of the actors sound like they're British. Yeah, like they have their accents are leaking through, Stay and they wouldn't God. have British accents, no right? Oh, she's got cleavage. We're all sold now. We go east. We don't go anywhere. You'll only slow oh, me down. You're on your own. Yeah, we're on a good team here. Team spirit. Was oh, he gonna wake up now? Of course. We could see that coming. Our first piece of combat in the game. So the art style looks pretty good. The frame rate so far has been pretty good. Let's take a look at the combat. And I collect some crystals. All right. He definitely got some far-reaching blades. What other weapons are there? Ooh! I don't know what I did. Oh my word. So it's definitely stylized combat, right? Can I get off of this? Good deal. Yeah, the settings, too, were very simplified. You didn't miss much. Uh, some talking at the beginning to kind of help create some of the story and interlock some of the characters. Apparently, I didn't do that right. I'm almost dead. Yeah! Perfect. Frick yeah. Yeah, pincher move, pincher move. In my opinion so far, this is definitely a downgrade. Now, I did talk a little bit about Prince of Persia um, and uh, kind of like how they built it. So we had actually Prince of Persia back in 1980 or 1989. Hold it. Okay. There we go. Now, mother. Dude. Okay. Hold on. Let me get through this first. Okay. So we had our first in 1989, that was also a side-scroller. You can see that they remastered that as Prince of Persia Classic for the 360. You can, act, you can buy that one, if you wish. But the other three that we think about that we know from Prince of Persia, th there's only one of them available, and that's the Forgotten Sands. The other two, they're not available, which sucks. I really enjoyed those with PlayStation. The other thing is... We don't have a trilogy, and we also saw that there was a remaster coming. Yeah, we actually got a trailer from Ubisoft that looked really bad, by the way. And then we just heard nothing about it. So, what is up with that? So anyway, that's kind of what's been going on, piece by piece. But honestly, this is the game that we got, and this is not the game that's going to sell a lot. I'm sorry, it's just not. So we go... <laughs> Sorry, I had to make fun of that a little bit. I ain't gonna read it. We're here for the gameplay. That's what I'm doing. I hope you guys read it. I didn't. I never read. 
And uh, it's not because I can't. Uh, that's just the story that I'm going with, okay? There is some directional differences depending on what you're doing with your left stick there. Yeah, the controls are very much like Kratos from, like, the original God of Wars. But that was 3D. That was a 3D uh, environment and a blast. The heck was that? I have no idea. Yeah, I am literally trying to make this as fun as I can, folks. Uh, but no, it just... It just sucks that bad. <laughs> and maybe, too, like, this would be a fun game. You know, they, they do have, like, a $50 version, which is nice. It's not a full game, and they know it. What the heck is this? Interesting. Nope, not gonna read it. Sweet. Got health. That's nice. I grew a tree. Hey, it's Elden Ring. It's our first point of grace. This is exciting. We got some amulets here. Blade Dancer. Um... Eh, I'll go with that. So you get a few. Of course, you're probably going to work through these as you play through the game. Hopefully, um, most of these aren't just in the middle or toward the end of the game like Forspoken did. Hopefully, you actually get some of these toward the beginning. While in the air. Uh, that's kind of annoying. I guess we'll do this. Can I select them all? Let's select them all. Why not? Alrighty. We also get some uh, special things too. Sure, I'll go with that. What are you doing here? This place is too dangerous for a child. Hey, how's it going, Chance? Don't worry about me. I know the Citadel better than anyone. <sighs> I know every step. I even go where others can't. Yeah, we're taking a look. I've chatted just to see, um, someone told me that they actually have a demo. And so, uh, and yeah, just taking a look here. Uh, pretty good so far. Like We're having one. a wicked ice storm. Uh, like <clears throat> at least for our area, it's going to be pretty bad. So we're probably going to get about half an inch or an inch These of ice on everything. And I'm hoping we don't lose <laughs> electricity and all that good stuff. Have the purest of if we do, um, so, stand beneath its leaves to restore your we'll energy. figure it out. We got plenty of food, you know, we got some water stocked up, all that good stuff. But it'll get cold. Tell me, you say you know all here. We're in search of soldiers like us. Have you seen well, all right. that? Alright, let's get to some more gameplay. This is gonna be pretty long. Okay. New item, the Eye of the Wanderer. Go on. Try it. You know, I love it. She's got a British accent, too. That's hilarious. I don't want to try this. Can I just... Okay, I got a map. Nice. I might as well show you. So you have to get a freaking item in the game in order to use a map? Are you kidding me? Why? Why would they do that? Memory shards. Unreachable passages. 
the eye. Uh, oh yeah, capture. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so you can take pictures, create a memory, go back and do stuff. That's neat. Thank you, Miss. I don't know. My name is Faraba. I'm Sargon. Oh. Hopefully, Doesn't we're going to see if we can actually so use the map. Time crystals. <laughs> Holy mother, dude. So yeah, it looks like we actually have the map, which is nice. And uh, pretty... Yeah, this is where I've been already. You can add markers, which is nice. Yeah, can I not get up there? Nope. Game's being a D-word. Alrighty. Need to get behind this guy. <laughs> this is gonna be a short go. Hey, there we go. Frick yeah. I'm really good at this game, as you can tell. Are you serious? It's gonna get annoying, too. What? It doesn't even... Oh, my word. Ugh. You know, my death actually looks pretty flippin' amazing, I gotta say. Let's try this again. So we get that fifth hit, that, that amulet's actually pretty nice. Of course. He's stuck in there now. Let's see, can I get it up there? Woo hoo hoo hoo, that was close. gotta be let's see here. hey there we go that's it Oop, we better hurry up see side scrollers aren't necessarily bad <clears throat> what the heck is going on the issue comes with just that there's other stuff that's better out there you know what I mean there's just things that are more enjoyable yeah let's do it Piece of garbage. Perfect. Let's activate that. There we go. This place has got to be special up there. Ooh! A secret passage. I do have Discord. I just haven't used it yet. Okay, we got a little... Oh my gosh. We got a little kitty that's gonna kill me. Woo! Death! <laughs> I'll eventually set up a Discord. Oh man, I gotta start all the way back here. You gotta be kidding. <clears throat> so yeah, I do have a... I might as well bring that up now. I do have a Discord. My plans are to actually set up one for the channel. So that not just me, but also others can communicate with others in the group and we can actually have a place to talk. YouTube isn't uh, very good with that unfortunately. It's not a great place. Um, so yeah, I actually want to use Discord and uh, get that set up. And we can all communicate. And I really want to set up a place too where we can actually play together. Because we all usually miss that. And we can all probably agree it's pretty tough to get friends anymore. Or to even just have a place to be able to get friends. Or just talk with other players and, and see what they're doing and stuff. Come on. Yeah, flip and do it. I know you wanna. There it is. Oh my word. I'm stuck. Help. I'm freaking stuck. <laughs> you can tell I'm amazing at this game. So yeah, I'm not necessarily good <clears throat> at side-scrollers anymore. Uh, you know, I used to play them. They used to be really common. Um, but 
it's so frustrating too because the Prince of Persia brand is all about a three-dimensional area, you know, being able to run back time. The mechanics in the game are actually pretty simple. And, like, it is cool that you have different amulets that can give you bonuses or, or d probably even at some point different weapons. But this actually gets pretty frustrating because it's not what I would call challenging in a good way. It's more challenging for kind of, like, something simpler, maybe less expensive to make. Uh, but we're talking about Ubisoft here. I mean, this is a flippin' huge company. And, uh, they decided to do this. So, I am, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed. When I heard there was a new Prince of Persia game and a remaster coming, I was like, Frick, yeah, dude, this is gonna be great. And, uh, and then we never got that. So, what a bummer. And I don't even think we're gonna get the remaster. I think it's gone. I think it's dead, basically. Perfect. Jump! That'll work good enough. There we go. Ready. I'm gonna skip that pup down there. So what the ooh, what's that? So one thing that is cool is they have hidden kind of like a lot of secret areas so far in the game. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, that's kind of cool. <clears throat> but so far, yeah, you're not able to really use the sands of time, which sucks. And I can't reach very far when I'm going when I'm trying to go up. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I suck at that aerial combat, folks. I can't go through there, huh? Apparently not. Can I even... Oh, here we go. What the frick was that? I just want to aim my bow. There we go. More of those lovely things. Those... I like those freaking little, uh... Man, I should use that more often. That's nice. Like those little things in Lords of the Fallen. God, those things are horrible. We getting to a boss yet? This looks like a boss. Maybe. Something's here. Something special. Ooh, an elevator. Very nice. Let's see what's over here. What the frick happened? Where did I go? So, man, I'm starting to get lost here. Let's see. And remember, this is all side-scrollers, so there's... Oh, yeah. There's... There's tons to this. There's layers and layers and layers of stuff. Yeah, look at all this out here. Oh, man, there's woods. Holy smokes. 
And this is just the demo, so I would assume that the actual game is tons better. Uh, and tons bigger, too. Yeah, visually, it looks pretty good. Okay? You know, I'm enjoying that. Who the frick is that? Here's a, a forger. The blacksmith. Alright. Who do you serve? You know about me. I turn my eye to the human world. I'm Sargon. I serve per Immortals, you say. Well, immortal. Kahiva. Goddess and blacksmith to the gods. Have you forged weapons for mortals? I've served mortals from time to time. King. Few other mortals. I had no idea that in Mount Calf, gods and goddesses walked among humans. It was so. The curse altered everything. But I remain. My forge protected me from the winds of time. Either way. How's that? Enough. Would you forge for a Of course, there's no explanation for that. For a few time crystals. Understand this. Even in the skewed reach of time. I'm insignificant. Alright, hey, we hear enough of that in society today. We don't need more of that, right, folks? Welcome. So for... Do you wish something forged? Let's actually see how much this is. So this is... We're going to have vendors in the game, too. It's not just going to be her, I'm sure. There's going to be others as well. Uh, of course, I'm broke. So, no, that's going to happen. But, hey, we get a little bit. So, yeah, there are some advantages. And there's a few things we can buy, but... Um, not a lot. Oh, can I even jump to that? Probably not. So yeah, Prince of Persia is a great series. You know, if you guys have never played it, uh, it's it's worth it. But they don't let you play the old ones, except for the Forgotten Sands. And the classic that they made uh, back from the original in 89. And so instead, we have this. Again, this is not awful. Uh, it's just not the type that I wanted. And it's like they went backwards. Okay, we had wonderful three-dimensional games. We, we had uh, wonderful bosses and kind of uh, things to do in the game as well. And here's another spot where it looks important, but nothing's here. And yeah, there's something up there. What a bummer. Yeah, this is the wall running we have now. God, man, in the other games it was wonderful. It was so fun, folks. It was so fun. Yeah, the game mechanics back then were a lot more enjoyable than they are today. What brings you oh. here, traveler? Here we go. And I are in pursuit of then you and the others are trapped here. Mount Calf has seen its share of travel. Beware, warrior. I've seen my share of even the most determined of warriors. Its unique properties. Just know that each one is precious. And can only be changed as a whack whack tree. I'll make good use of this. I got something. Ooh, an amulet. Alright. Slightly increases max health. Additional health boost when will regenerate at whack whack trees. Alrighty. Thank you very much. Oh hey, we got another uh point of grace here. Awesome. A whack whack tree. Couldn't you call it something else? Seriously, they, this is supposed to be a serious game. And they want to call it a whack whack tree. Like, are you kidding? Ooh, a different enemy. Oh man, yeah, a different enemy. You missed. Holy smokes. I forgot the parry button. I'm gonna die. Oh, there we go. Okay. Dude, what the frick is going on? Oh my gosh. Okay, I <laughs> just fell all the way to the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I used to be great at platformers, but that was like 20 years ago. Holy smokes.
Are you serious? Oh my gosh. And we're going to have areas like that too where if you don't do it perfect, you're dead, man. Hmm. Well, I think that's going to be it for me, folks. We got an idea of what the game's like. Of course, it's not, you know, for those of us that have played the old Prince of Persia's back on like PlayStation 2 and original Xbox and 360, this is not what we want. Uh, again, it is a cheaper game. Of course, they're going to try to get you to, you know, get some extra cosmetics and pay more, uh, but please don't. Uh, you know, if you like side-scrollers, if you like Prince of Persia, you know, run with it. Um, but also, there's not a lot of lore seemingly connecting from the old Prince of Persia's to this one. Seems like you don't have to play one to get to the other. You just, um... Yeah, you can just play this independently. And it is for what it is. I mean, visually, it's good. Um, you, we get different upgrades, different weapons, different equipment. Uh, there's going to be some cosmetics, too, in the game, probably, that we can earn and even or pay for in one way or another. There's going to be different vendors in the game. We're going to be able to work at forged weapons, which is cool. There's, of course, going to be some boss battles in the game. <coughs> And also, there's uh, we do have a map, at least. And the map actually looks pretty dang big. There's not a ton uh, devoted to settings. Um, so, yeah, the game is as it's going to be. There's no button rebinding. There's nothing like that. <clears throat> we'll have to see what the actual uh, game is when when it comes out for release. But, yeah, is it worth 50 bucks? I mean, is it worth 50 bucks of enjoyment? Maybe. Uh, for someone like me, probably not. I mean, I'm more into something that's Red Dead Redemption 2 or Warzone, which is free anyway, or uh, into the uh, Dead Space remake, or even into something like uh, Minecraft or Rally Racing with friends or something. Uh, this is something I really wouldn't pick up. I probably would never really play this. But hey, that doesn't mean you guys can't. That's just my thoughts. Of course, you can always follow me over at YouTube at GamingGarbage22, where I archive everything. Don't forget, too, to check the community tab there, um, where you can also check to make sure that you've uh, voted for things. Um, we are, <coughs> excuse me, we are going to have a launch game um, that you can vote for through the end of January. Basically, it's between Space Marine 2 and Star Wars Outlaws. Both of those I'm excited for. The third game, which was Flintlock, is now, I found out, going to be on Game Pass. There's going to be plenty of games on Game Pass that are going to be coming out that I'm going to be showing right here on the channel. Also, too, you can find me over at Twitch at Don't Tread on Thee. And then, yes, I will be having a Discord once I learn more about it. Old man talking here. Uh, I will be having a Discord server um, for a place just for to keep you guys updated, of course, but also, too... Um, not just to interact and play with you guys, but for all y'all to interact and play together. So I really want to create a space where you guys can do that. Because we used to have that. Clans used to be a normal thing, and now that's just kind of disappeared and gone away. And multiplayer games are just PvP now. There's really not a lot of co-op. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I can bring that back. That's the plan. So hopefully you guys are doing well. Uh, if you got crazy weather going on, just be safe and do a little prep work. And I'll see you guys on the next one.